Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the ninth, the twentieth, actually, sorry, episode of the West Bromwich Albion Crew Mode. We are jumping right into a game against Arsenal. Should be a good game. Um, now I know with Arsenal, they don't necessarily have the fastest um, team. They have they they have a pretty fast team, but honestly, um, Mertesacker, in my opinion, is definitely a weak point and. Um, we can start the game off in the 8th minute with a goal from Lukaku. I guess you could call it a little bit of sweat, but um, I really needed that goal. And it went right through the defender's legs, and it was pretty lucky for me. Anyways, yeah, so you can see March Saka just isn't getting there on time, and it went right through his legs. And we got lucky there with um, a good shot from Lukaku. And then just before halftime, we actually managed to get pretty lucky again. And Dorans passes it. I didn't actually pass it. They tackled it. And we take it again from them, and... Um, it was a very lucky goal. A lot of um, block shots, and eventually it manages to go in by William Jose, our star. He's definitely been um, a star signing if if we're not going to count S. Fine in, because he is obviously injured right now. He's def He definitely saved my butt in terms of strikers, because otherwise, if I hadn't have purchased him, I would have had to use um, Lukaku and Chris Wood or Rosenberg. And to be honest, they're not very strong players, and Lukaku is, don't get me wrong, but Chris Wood and Rosenberg, they're not very good. And especially when, um, during the time where Lukaku was injured, that would have been terrible. Anyways, Podol Podolski actually managed to, manages to get one back, and I was like, I was getting a little bit worried, because I do not want them to equalize. Giving up a 2 nothing lead, that's pretty bad. Anyways, so I bring on some substitutions, take off Dorans and El Ganassi, because they're in the orange um, fitness bar. And, um, yeah, so I, I didn't go defensive, but I, I played defensive. I just didn't go into the um, play style defensive, if you know what I mean. And we do take off William Jose as well and bring on Chris Wood because he, he's young, but honestly, he's not a good player to use. Anyways, that is actually how the game ended, 2-1, to one, and I was very happy with that result because Arsenal do have a strong team. And, um, yeah, we, we managed to pull off a victory against them, and I was pretty happy. And it's... Um, you can see the team celebrating and everyone's so happy because we beat Arsenal and we're the champions. Well, not quite, but still. <laughs> Anyways, um, then we jump into some emails, actually, um, that Craig Dawson has, if you can remember, he got suspended from the simulation against West Ham, I believe. And so, yeah, we um, advance and we go into a game against Swansea City. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect, to be honest, um, against Swansea because... I don't know if they're a strong team or they're a weak team or I'm not sure but um to be honest I just expected us to win because we we have a mediocre team like it's it's not a weak team and I definitely think we're better than Swansea anyways the goals open up in the 30 minute 30th minute where we play an overhead um ball to William Jose and he's going to do a cutback and the defender doesn't keep track and we just finesse that around the goalkeeper and, um, yeah, pretty poor defense by Swansea, if I'm honest. But um, a very good goal by William Jose using his strength there. He, he's not the fastest of players, but he does have strength, and he's very tall. So, it, yeah, he's really good, as you guys have probably seen by his goals. Anyways, that is what the score was at halftime. But after halftime, we go nuts with the goals. You'll see. Anyway, so we started off. I'm not sure if that was offside or not, but it wasn't. And um, probably from the view I gave you midway through the pass, it looked offside. But yeah, in the 54th minute, we score a goal and it becomes 2 nothing. And then, unfortunately, Danny Graham, excuse me, excuse me there. Danny Graham loves to upset us and um, he gets one back for them. I'm just going to say it right now. Um, Key is passing it. He passes it to Danny Graham and I leave him right open. That was a bad mistake by me. Not defending very well, to be honest, but I, I decide to go and make some substitutions, and I um, bring off Graham Dorans again, because he's really a starter player, and I, I like to start him because he gets the game up. You Sometimes you'll see a goal from him, but um, normally it's just him passing and assisting goals, because that's what he's best for. And So it's basically a midfield sub. We do not sub any other positions, because we don't, ha don't have the... Um, we don't have enough subs to do that. Anyways, I almost bring on um, Jerome, but I believe I took him off for Gabriel, actually. So, um, yeah. Anyways, there are the subs we make. 
Then, um, coming up to the next goal, we scored two goals, and, well, sorry if I just ruined it. That was a bad mistake by me. Anyways, so William Jose playing a through ball to Lukaku, and he just runs right past, the, slots that into the net, another finesse. I thought they were over, overpowered in FIFA 12, but um, now FIFA 13, we're scoring, we've scored two in this game, and I'm not saying they're overpowered, but um, it's good. Anyways, it becomes 3-1, and then I, I basically just cleared it, and it managed to get to us, and I played that ball to William Jose, hoping he could maybe play as someone else, but he just out-muscles that defender, and you, he doesn't have pace, but he he used some pace, and he got past, and then he just crossed it at the last minute to Lukaku, and he's not going to miss that. He has great heading stats, and he's a pretty tall player and pretty strong as well, so he's definitely going to score that. Anyways, that is how the game ended, going ham on West Ham. If you know, oh, sorry, it's Swansea. Whoops, my bad. Anyways, we went nuts on Swansea with the goals, and yeah, we can. You can see we're trying to get another one, but then uh, it, it is offside, and it's pretty unlucky. But that is actually how the game ended, um, four to one. If only we could have gotten that other goal, right? Anyways, I'm just showing this um, piece of footage at the end to to show how lucky um, I got with their uh, hit them hitting the post and it yeah that's how the game ended but yeah they hit the post and luckily um, my defender hit it back to my hill and no own goals necessary like some of them in the in the last episode and episode before that but yeah I'm hoping you guys are really enjoying getting back into daily uploads I don't have very many subscribers so um, I guess feel free to share this and um, yeah, so leave it a like, um, a comment on any suggestions you may have. Uh, I'll be open to suggestions. And you can see there, James Morrison um, wanted a contract. He wanted a raise, basically, so I gave it to him. Anyways, yeah, so we are coming to a close in this episode. But to end the episode on a bang, look who's back. That's right, Alexander S. Fine is back. He is finally returning to the squad. Anyways, that will be the end of this episode. We're just leaving off showing we're facing Man City next. Leave it a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Good day.